nutritional deficiencies in plants under this topic today we are going to study about the calcium deficiency in plants in this topic today we will study about the essential role of calcium in plants main deficiency symptoms of calcium deficiency in plants soil conditions that affect the availability of calcium to plants and the management strategy let us start with the essential role of calcium in plants calcium is used to build cell wall structure and cell wall is present around every cell therefore calcium is an essential element for maintaining the cellular integrity calcium also forms part of many enzyme and these enzymes plays a pivotal role in the metabolic process of cell growth and development calcium is also used to help transport other substances across the cell membrane it is found in large quantities in cells that are dividing means the meristematic cell and this is the reason why calcium deficiency first appear in the growing roots shoots buds and young leaves calcium is most important for the growth process it has a regulating effect in the cells and contributes to the stability of the plant usually plants have two transportation system at their disposal the xylem vessel and the sieve vessel most nutrients can be transported via both the system however for calcium this is not possible calcium can be transported exclusively via the xylem vessel it is an element that deposes of little mobility within the plant it is therefore important that a sufficient amount of calcium is always available in the root environment so that it will be continuously available for absorption by the plant calcium is absorbed through the growing root tips and is transported to the growing parts of the plant via xylem vascular system once deposited in cell walls it cannot be translocated to the other parts of the plant main deficiency symptoms of calcium growing points and roots are the first to be affected due to deficiency of calcium the growing points usually die and this may be followed by the development of many lateral buds and the development of lateral buds give plants a bushy appearance the leaves of some plants hook downward and they exhibit marginal necrosis roots of calcium deficient plants are short and stubby they lack fiber and are sometimes gelatinous calcium deficient leaves are look like as leaves usually show dying out of the margins or of the mesophyll giving a ragged and spotted effect in lemon ye leaves yellow leaf margins appear dead growing points are often attacked by disease organisms in serious 
instances of calcium deficiency, the plant scum to die back. Other symptoms of calcium deficiency include premature flower drop, yellow leaf margin and the new growth become distorted. Calcium deficiency symptoms appear initially as a localized tissue necrosis. Tissue necrosis means premature death of cells resulting black colored soft liquid tissue lesions and this leads to stunted plant growth. Stems, petioles and pedicel of the plant may wilt near the tips and die. Generally, the new growth and rapidly growing tissues of the plant are affected first. The Mature leaves are rarely, if ever, affected because calcium accumulates to higher concentration in older leaves. Calcium deficiencies in plants are associated with reduced height, fewer nodes and less leaf area. Tomato blossom and rot. Blossom and rot first appear as a water soaked spots on the blossom end or at the bottom of the tomato. The affected tissue break down rapidly and the area becomes sunken, dark brown or black and leathery. This blossom and rot in tomato is caused by the insufficient calcium in the tissues of the tomato. Now the soil conditions that affect the availability of calcium to plants. Acidic, sandy or coarse soils often contain less calcium. Uneven soil moisture and overuse of fertilizer can also cause deficiency of calcium. At times, even with sufficient calcium in the soil, it can be in an insoluble form and is then unusable by the plant. Or it could be attributed to a transport protein. Soil containing high phosphorus are particularly susceptible to creating insoluble forms of calcium. Management strategy. How can we control the deficiency of calcium? Soil pH should be tested and corrected if needed because calcium deficiency is often associated with low pH. Calcium deficiency can sometimes be rectified by adding agricultural lime to acid soil aiming at a pH of 6.5 unless the plant specifically prefer the acidic soil. Organic matter should be added to the soil to improve its moisture retaining capacity. The problem can, cannot generally be cured by the addition of calcium to the roots. In some plants, the problem can be reduced by prophylactic spraying with calcium chloride of tissues at a risk. For further reading, I would like to suggest these links and a book of plant pathology by George and Agrios. Thank you for watching.